Nice meeting you guys. Uh, great to be here. And uh, I'm here to present Hyperbolic, which is uh, AI cloud for developers. And so my topic is uh, why we don't need more data centers. It's like a very <laughs> eye-catching title. Uh, but I, what I want to clarify is I still think building data centers is important. But just building data centers alone can solve the problem. So uh, wait. Before we get started, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Jasper. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hyperbolic. Um, I did my math PhD at UC Berkeley, uh, finished my PhD in two years, which made me the fastest person in the history of Ber Berkeley. And then I also won a few gold medals. So uh, after that, I work at Seto Securities, uh, trying to use AI and machine learning to predict the market as a key strategy. So I always have a passion about how to make things very efficient and how to help you to save money, because everyone knows that uh, compute actually one of the biggest costs for your companies or for your startups. Uh, usually, you need to if you want to run like 1,000 GPU, you will spend you millions of dollars uh, per year. And we we think that these problems should be solved by not just building more data centers, but actually uh, building a GPU marketplace. So let's get started uh, with the problem that we're facing. Uh, first, uh, I think so. So everyone knows that AI is gonna integrate with everything in the future and every companies will be AI companies, so the demand for GPUs as well as data centers are uh, exploding. So by McKinsey, by 2030, we'll need 4x more data centers built in one quarter of the time that we built in the speed. Uh, but what if I tell you that you actually don't need that many data centers? Uh, you actually need uh, another solution. So. Uh, we can break down the demand first. Uh, right now, uh, the current capacity for data center is 55 gigawatts. Um, w by the median uh, scenario, we're going to see 22% annual growth rate for the demand. So in 2030, we're going to need 219 gigawatts. And however, uh, it's like there are a lot of challenges building data centers, right? So first, uh, we everyone knows Stargate. So it takes like, uh, for the first Stargate data center, it takes like more than a billion dollars to build. Uh, and then also, it's very slow to collect, connect data center to the electrical grid. For example, right now, the, the wait, wait list is like seven years. So you need to wait seven years to connect a 100 megawatts facility to the, uh, to the electric electrical grid in not, uh, Northern Virginia. And, uh, and then uh, it also very uh, consuming a lot of energy. So uh, currently we're spending 4% of the total electricity consumption in the US for just GPUs and data centers. Uh, and also it's not very environmental sus sustainable. Uh, if you can look at the number, that's crazy uh, CO2 emissions annually. Uh, and even say if we're gonna deliver all the data centers uh, on time. There's still a data center supply deficit of more than 15 gigawatts in the US along by 2030. And so it means that just building data center can solve the problem. And on the other hand, uh, we think the GPU utilization is actually pretty low. So according to uh, Deloitte, GPUs sit idle 80% of the time for enterprises and companies. According to Simon analysis, there exists 100 plus GPU clouds. <laughs> so we can see like how fragmented the space is. Right? A lot of you guys need GPUs, but you can't find them, or like you are going to pay extremely high price. On the other hand, there are a lot of GPUs sit idle in data centers or in different clouds. and so. Naturally, uh, a solution that we think we, we should build is actually build a GPU marketplace or like aggregation layer that aggregate different data centers and GPU providers to solve the problem for uh, GPU users. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be hyperbolic, but I just use hyperbolic as an example uh, to show you. Uh, so uh, I, can, I can just like uh, share what we are we're trying to solve. So we're building this like global orchestration layer. Uh, we invented a software called HyperDOS, which is short for Hyperbolic Distributed uh, Operating System. So basically, 
it's like a Kubernetes uh, software. So any any cluster, as long as it installed our software within five minutes, suddenly the data center become a cluster in our network. And on the other side, users can rent GPUs uh, in different ways that they want. Like they can just uh, do the spot instance. They can like on demand. They can long term reserve, or they can also like host uh, models on top. Um, and so like we see that we see that there are like several benefits. Um, one, we uh, we kind of like solve the if it, uh, like the matching problem of compute. Uh, and then second, like GPU become commodities. So you like you don't need to spend too much time to wait for data center. You just buy them on the marketplace. And then third, uh, you can have different options. And so um, we do some math modeling. Uh, I I mean I don't have time to kind of put down the math in the slides, but this is our conclusion, right? Basically, uh, we can save the cost by fifty to seventy five percent. Even if you look at uh, the current, we, we're running like some beta version of our marketplace right now, and our GPU cost for H100 is 99 cents per hour. But if you look at Google, for example, they have on-demand GPU. It's like $11. They're like Lambda. They have like two or three dollars. But on average, by having aggregating more supply, uh, and then like have a uniform distribution channel you can uh, drastically reduce the price. Um, it's like the, the theory behind that is like the queuing theory, basically like uh, is MMC theory. I probably next time if we're gonna watch my talk, I will share more math uh, behind that. Uh, but yeah, and then like you can just save time to vetting your suppliers because you, if you like think about, I, I mean, how many people here are founders or like need to acquire GPUs? Yeah, so, uh, are you frustrated when you are trying to talk to, how many suppliers are you talking to? If you have talked to more than five, raise your hands. Are you frustrated when you're like trying to have like five sales calls and like try to like know which data uh, GPUs are, are frustrated? Yeah, are, are good? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so basically by having like this uniform platform, like founders or like startups or companies no longer need to vet different data center, they just like pick the one that they uh, have high rating or like have the best price. We're also going to do like uh, benchmarking on the performance of the GPUs. All right, so, uh, oh, sorry. All right, so uh, sorry, somehow the graph didn't didn't show. Uh, let's, uh, give me one sec. Yeah, so um, basically we can think about a use case example. Um, so let's say if you if you are a startup and you want like 1,000 GPUs at the beginning, so usually you will just reserve these 1,000 GPUs for a year, right? You think like I might need to use these GPUs uh, for training and later on I want to do inference. And so you run some training jobs, and then after three months, then you realize that, okay, now I have a, I have a nine, good, a better idea by running those experiments, and now I need 1,000 more GPUs just for a month, right? And then after, after six months, uh, at month six, then you finish your training job. And then you realize that now I only need 500 GPUs for hosting my model, but I still have 500 GPUs left. So uh, on the traditional, uh, on hyperbolic case, uh, you basically can say, okay, I will rent 1,000 GPUs for a year at the beginning. But then uh, in month three, I can say uh, I just rent uh, an, an actual 1,000 GPUs for just uh, a month. And then uh, a month, in month six, then I can say, okay, I can release my idle GPUs on hyperbolic and try to sell the uh, sell them to the uh, to other people that need them, right? Uh, but if you just like use some traditional cloud, then you need to rent 1,000 GPUs at the beginning, and then on months in month three, you need to rent actually 1,000 GPUs for a year usually. And uh, if you calculate the cost, uh, compare compare that, and then also like think about the price difference you will have. Uh, it will you can reduce the cost from 
43.8 million to 6.9 million. So it's like 6x saving. Uh, and it also helps other people to get cheaper GPUs too because you can release those idle GPUs to other people. And so, uh, so that's, this is how we think that uh, we're going to we're gonna like increase the productivity. Like people only think about saving, but actually, uh, this is not true for GPU, right? Uh, by scaling law, we know that the more G compute you spend, the better quality your machine will be, uh, your model will be. So it's not just about saving your cost by six x. It's more about with the same budget, you will increase your productivity by six x. And imagine how many startups that they used only need to rely on OpenAI and Anthropic, those closed AI models. But now suddenly, they, their money become more valuable and they can rent as many GPUs as they want for the training. Um, and so the, the next step that we think uh, usually the GPU marketplace will evolve into is that uh, it will be a all-in-one platform for different AI workload. Because what people really want is not just GPUs. They want um, to run their different AI jobs, right? They will, you will have AI inference, uh, online inference, uh, offline inference, and then you will also have a uh, training job. And so, uh, yeah, so this is like um, to, to like uh, some takeaway, like basically we don't think we, n we need like just focus on building data centers. We also need to do like smarter allocation for the resources. And then second, uh, we can reduce your costs um, for by building GPU data uh, marketplace. And lastly, um, I think uh, just focusing on building data center is not very sustainable. We're co like costing a lot of energy, uh, taking a lot of land. Uh, we should better reuse, recycle <laughs> those idle compute by uh, selling it to others. And so uh, if you're interested in trying out, uh, you can uh, come to our website. Uh, the, the left QR code is uh, the current product that we have, which is a marketplace. But then we're also launching our business card and enterprise card that uh, give you like production ready GPUs with 99.5% reliability. All right, thanks. Awesome. So I actually got, I'm curious, can you tell us more about the, the kind of hyperbolic OS? How exactly does that turn because I know a lot of times you have a data center, plus a set of GPUs. Yeah. How how does it actually work to connect it to Hyperbolic itself? Yeah. So um, basically, this is uh, Hyper HyperDOS is like a Kubernetes agent. So um, you just install that in your cluster as long as you have Kubernetes. I mean, uh, most data center have Kubernetes, but then even for your MacBook or for your PC, you can just install like Micro K8 to kind of uh, become a Kubernetes ready uh, machine. And uh, so basically now you kind of have, we, we have terminology in house, we call like our hyperbolic server uh, Monarch, and then we have uh, different barons. <laughs> so it's like a feudalism model. So different barons, they own different compute. And then any and every, every time when a user want to rent GPU, they will talk to our Monarch server, and the Monarch server will send a request to uh, the like the Baron, and then Baron will just basically uh, provis provision the machines and set up the SSH instance for customers to access. Yeah.